Hello, and I'm Cheryl. If you are new to Travel Wonder, allow me to introduce a little bit about ourselves. Travel Wonder is a licensed online and offline travel company based in Singapore. We specialize in active holidays. Join us in the future if you are looking for cycling, hiking, or running holidays. We can also plan vacations of all sorts that you desire, from romantic getaways to rest and relaxation trips and even family fun trips. Do consider us in the future when you plan your next vacation. So Mabel, has our opa arrived? Oh yes, let me bring him on, just a moment. Hey, annyeonghaseyo. Annyeonghaseyo. <laughs> it's our opa William, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, how have your work from home been so far? Ah, uh, still trying to get used to it. it seems been... like more be yeah. Seems like more busy uh, eating than anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the case when you started. Yeah, it's just uh, like for us when we started our work from oh, home yeah. two years ago. Wow, yeah, it also yeah. take us. Uh, <laughs> I think it take us about a month to get adjusted to what yeah. is working from home productively. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so William, how have, sorry, Jane. How how have you all been um, these couple of days? Good, so far yeah. so good. Only like suddenly you have a lot of like uh, family members in the day at home. So we also <laughs> yes, getting getting adjust adjust to it. Yeah, I think we'll get there. No problem. <laughs> no good. domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, SG yeah. United. Yeah. Yes. So to our audience, this is our Singapore version Korean Opa. <laughs> uh, uh, more like Opa. <laughs> so William, did you bring the real authentic Korean Opa? Yeah, he's online. Let's bring him on. Okay, let me bring him on. And Where now here you? with us is our cycling lead from South Korea, Junshop. Hi, Jun. Annyeonghaseyo. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Mabel. <laughs> Annyeonghaseyo. Annyeonghaseyo. Uh, now William and I will sit back, relax and leave you both to check Mabel and June. So okay, to our John. audience, to our audience, please like, comment and share. If you have any questions you would like to ask June, please also put it in the comments, uh in the comments box and then we will answer them later one by one. So over to you, Mabel. Okay, see you later. See you. Hmm? Okay, Junsho, so it's not just you and me. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long while since we last met. I remember it was back in 2019, July, when I was in South Korea for a business trip and where we caught up. So how have you been all this while? Uh, hi, Mabel. I've been doing well. As you know, in winter season, I skied with customers. And you know what? I really miss you guys in Cherry Blossom season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really miss cycling with you in Cherry Blossom season too. Um, can you share a little bit more about yourself? Don't need to share about your vital statistics, yeah? Just maybe about what you do in South Korea. Uh, I am Jun Sok Park. You can call me just Jun. I work with the special interest travel department of my company like cycling, hiking, trekking, skiing, learning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I think our audience here are all very curious to find out about the current COVID situation in South Korea, um, especially after the outbreak in Daegu. Will you be able to share more about how the situation has affected you and your company? Mm -hmm. it, the number of infections has dropped a uh, significant country, but there is still a long way to go. Okay. Um, like many of my fellow tourism colleagues around yeah. the world, mm -hmm. uh, we are having a very difficult period right now. The tourism business in Korea suddenly came to a complete halt at the, mm -hmm. the outbreak in Daegu. Okay. Mm. Uh, we prayed every day for this to pass us soon so yeah. that we could welcome our beloved friends from Singapore to Korea again. 
Uh, looking forward to riding the bike with all of you guys. Yeah, I'm looking forward to cycling with you again soon too. Um, everybody has been praising the South Korean government for controlling the COVID situation very well over in South Korea. Will you be able to share what are some of the measures taken? Mm, the measures that Korean government has taken against the coronavirus seem to be fast virus testing, sharing the movements of the infected, mm -hmm. staying at home and wearing the mask. Okay. Like this. Anytime. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are three virus testing stations that all citizens and foreigners can go to. Uh, there's testing in the medical center, mm -hmm. testing for drive through and food on the street for people yeah. to go to any time. Wow, okay, free virus testing, that's very good. So to our audience, uh, what do you think of the measures taken by the Korean government in helping to control the COVID situation? Tell us more in the comment box. Okay, Junshou, are you and your colleagues working from home? Here in Singapore, majority of us are working from home unless we are from essential services. Is it the same over for you in South Korea? Uh, the government encourages people to stay home and okay. reduce physical contacts. Our company has implemented, implemented working from home in the beginning. Okay. But we, as the week passed, there's nothing we have to do. Therefore, oh. we are in a shutdown mode now. Wow, shutdown mode. So what are you doing then during the shutdown mode period? Oh, uh, now we are shutdown mode. I just Stay at home, okay. take care of my son, and take care of my wife, <laughs> take care of my family. <laughs> okay, that's so sweet because that, I mean, as you can see, there's still a silver lining in this uh, pandemic, which is you get to spend more precious time with your family because you are always traveling for work. And out of curiosity, is it safe to travel on public transport in South Korea? Uh, I think it's dangerous to use public transportation. Okay. Uh, so I drive a car if I okay. have like this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I also heard, right, that uh, the cherry blossoms have bloomed earlier than usual this year. Is that true? And um, how is it like? Are the locals out there admiring the flowers and are the cherry blossom festivals still ongoing at the moment? Hmm? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, look at these cherry blossoms. I'm gonna show wow. you. Guys. Very nice. They are in full bloom. Yeah. Oh, that's very nice weather over there. <laughs> Is it pretty? I cannot see. <laughs> you cannot see, yeah. Yeah, now I can see. Very clear okay. weather. It's raining heavily now here in Singapore. Uh, the cherry blossom in Yeida must have bloomed beautifully. Wait, wait. I'm gonna get in your car. Okay, okay. you got it back in your car. Okay. Yeah, yeah. when paper, yes. Okay. Going for the festival and mass events in country. Mm -hmm. Having cancelled as far as I have known. Okay. Uh, events like the famous cherry blossom festival in Busan, Jinhae. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And many others are cancelled when the oh. outbreak started. I think it's also for the public health, you know, it's better to cancel such mass events where to prevent gathering of people. Um, well, I can't wait to return to South Korea to admire those flowers in person. Um, to our audience, if you share the same enthusiasm as us, please let us know in the comment box. Okay, um, just show, so now that the business is a bit quieter, right, what are you doing in preparation for when people are ready to travel again? Are you out um, wrecking or planning new itineraries? Uh, yes, of course. When the coronavirus is over, yes? any cycling and hiking tours will be ready for you guys. Okay, that's good. <laughs> So audience, if you have any questions about cycling and hiking in South Korea, feel free to leave them down in 
the comment and then I will ask Jun Shok on your behalf. Um, are you uh, Jun Shok, have you, you know, are you checking out any new cycling routes for our Cherry Blossom ride in year 2021? Yeah, I already found a new bike path last year. Okay. Uh, it's a Kimgang bike path. Sounds interesting. Kimgang bike path. Mm -hmm. We can ride bicycle on the beautiful Kimgang River. Has the lots of cherry blossom road, and oh. at the end of the tour, we can also cross the bike path in the mm -hmm. middle of the West Sea. Nice. Yellow sea, West sea. Okay, West Sea, West Sea. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Sounds like um, yeah, something new and exciting plan for us, and we can't wait to go back to cycling in South Korea. I mean, personally, I feel that cycling in South Korea is so enjoyable that once you try it, you'll be hooked. Okay, I think now it's time for me to bring back Cheryl and William back online. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, William. Hello. Wow, I really love the cherry blossom. I really miss the time when I was there two years ago. Yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so pretty. <laughs> Against the blue sky. But and the weather is so good. The weather is so good. Let me try right. to get the weather here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I have, okay, we don't really have a lot of questions here, but okay. then um, Angeline and Susan says they have been missing South Korea, and it has been a year since they are there last year, riding, yes. riding <laughs> along the bike path under the cherry blossom trees. Yeah, <laughs> Facebook just reminded us not too long ago, a few oh, days back. You know, okay, <laughs> yeah, it, actually, it actually happens during this period of time. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. The Such ten memorable. days season. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dalat has a question here. Uh, okay. Dalat asks us, "Are all of us fine? How is it? How are we all doing here?" <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Maybe probably you want to take this question representing Singapore. Oh yes, we are doing very fine here in Singapore. All of us are starting to work from home since uh, yesterday, where it's the official timeline to work from home unless we are in essential services. So it's taking some time uh, for us to adjust to this new lifestyle. But I think everybody, you know, we are taking it in stride and proving that we are SG United. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what about June? You have anything to add? Besides, you have nothing to do. <laughs> did you put on weight? I want to know, did you put on weight? Because usually you put on weight during the winter months. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear us, June? June, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Did you put on weight? Since December. Pang <laughs> Lama. I cannot hear. Uh, he cannot hear us. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perhaps maybe you want to repeat my question? Uh, which part of your question? Did he put on weight? <laughs> oh, uh, <coughs> um, I shall refrain from answering. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe he pretended not to hear me, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think so. He pretended not to hear. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a question here from Jackie, or two questions here from Jackie. Jackie okay. asks, what is the average elevation for cycling in Korea? Is it quite hilly rise? Wow, very subjective. <laughs> Can I answer that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> William, please take that. <clears throat> yeah, um, we have uh, the, the cycling route that we have chosen for Travel Wonder. We have a few variations. Uh, one of, The one that we are cycling along the uh, Hangang River, they're actually very mm -hmm. easy ride. And even for the one, the one the Kungam that we just uh, recce actually uh, sometime last year was also very flat because the, the, the whole entire road is riding along the river. So uh, basically, uh, there is not much of a slope. Yeah. So if you talk about gradient, uh, if you are riding on the east east coast side, that means the sea of the east sea side then uh, Bobby, that will be much more hilly. Yeah. Elevations, climb, uh, average, uh, Bobby, about 80 meters to about 100. And uh, some part, <coughs> um, the, the difficulty is not a constant climb, but uh, it happened very regularly. Roller coaster, yeah. mini roller, roller coaster, coaster. Right? Yes, 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 yes. 
And the other one that is got, got more hilly right is uh, the Sokut Bhutan, the middle part. You okay. have about, I think, two or three uphill, uh, ranging from about 300 to 600. I think the higher is about 900. Wow, yeah. that is as good as climbing a hill or yeah. a mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, thank you, William. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, Susan. Susan would like to express her thanks to June and his team for helping her uh, to get all the documents she required last year from the little incident she had in Korea while cycling yes. with us during the cherry blossom trip. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay, let me see. Okay. So Jackie says we will be well fed after the clumps, <laughs> right? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yes. Yes, for sure. Although this is very subjective, also how much is enough, but I know we are always very well fed. And the beauty about when we are cycling out in the countryside is we get to visit so many of the local restaurants that most of the local went. And then I would say that not once our cuisine is repeated. Yes, that's yes. right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. The, be the beauty part about cycling out into the countryside is that uh, you every meal after the ride tastes very nice. <laughs> and and you get to taste actually the countryside the, the countryside taste so the normally when we choose a restaurant for the rides or even for the hikes we don't choose <clears throat> we don't choose what we call the group restaurants we actually choose the local restaurant the, the local eat it so most of the time you'll be sitting on the floor yeah, that's oh. the downside of yeah the downside of choosing a, a countryside restaurants with so-called authentic food yeah yeah Although mm. although I don't really like sitting on the floor because I always get leg cramps, but I think that mm. is that that is how close you can get to really mm. how the the uh local Koreans lifestyle yeah. because that is their most authentic restaurants that most of the locals went to. We part of their way of living in Korea. Yeah. Uh Jackie has a question. She asked, can she bring her own road bike for the trip? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Um, but uh, certain roads, uh, certain uh, cycling routes, actually road bike is not very, very suitable. You want to use a road bike, you can, but uh, it's not very suitable. For example, like when we tried the uh, Jeju, Jeju uh, Round Island, um, road bike wasn't very suitable because a lot of time you're actually going onto the pavement. So actually, a hybrid or a mountain bike is much more uh, better. <clears throat> okay. We have a new question by Wilson. He's asking that, assuming if, let's say, in July, the lockdown is over, will it be a good time to cycle in South Korea? Uh, July, yes. July is the dry time and was uh, before the uh, raining season. Um, but it will be very hot. Yeah, it will be very mm -hmm. hot. And it's also the local peak season, so meaning the locals are coming out for the summer summer break. Holidays, so okay. The, yeah, so hotel price uh, and restaurants will be crowded and hotel price will be very expensive. Yeah. So are we assuming weather to be like uh, Singapore? Yeah, very hum July, yeah humid and, and hot, yeah. Probably about in the range of 30, 35, but it get quite humid, yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. So unlike unlike in spring and autumn where we actually can ride the whole day, uh, in in summer you, we will be taking a longer lunch break and things like that. Yeah, mm. to avoid the midday sun. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Angeline asks, when is a good time for cycling in Jeju? Then, aside Jeju, from the month of May. Okay, Jeju, you can cycle from. I tried in uh, March. It was quite nice it, although it's cold but uh it's only in the morning and the evening you can ride from march all the way until um november early november you still can go for a ride yeah mm. but as usual avoid the local summer holidays 
Yeah, July and August is the worst time for Jeju. Yeah, the okay. not not the worst time, is the most peak. Uh, local yes, tourist peak. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. okay. John, do you have anything you want to add? No, I think he can't. He can't hear us. <laughs> <laughs> he can't hear us. <laughs> okay, so yep, that's is it. That's all we okay. have. Yep. I think Good. it's time for us to end our tea break chatter um, and get back to the grind. Okay, but before I do that, I'd just like to share a little bit more about our talk tomorrow and also our guests for our midweek chatter for next Wednesday. So tomorrow evening at 10 p.m. on Facebook Live, we will be uh, sharing about cycling in Tanka. So if you are interested, please do tune in. I repeat, it's tomorrow at 10 p.m. Facebook Live. Uh, next Wednesday for our midweek chatter, we have our cycling lead from Chiang Rai and also our friend who will be uh, sharing with us about cycling in Chiang Rai and also doing a short demonstration on specialty coffee brewing. So if you are interested, please tune in to us next Wednesday, 3.30 p.m. Facebook Live. Now, before we go, shall we take a group photo together? Oh, okay. For us? <laughs> okay, smile for the camera. One, two... Okay, now, if you enjoyed today's session, please do not forget to like, comment, and share. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Annyeong. Annyeong. Annyeong.